A little later this hour, a public health meeting is going to be taking place at the Buffalo Museum of Science. New York's health department wants to know why parts of our area have much higher rates of certain kinds of cancers than the rest of the state. Two on your side's Emily Lampa is there now to tell us why attendance is so important. Hey there, Emily. Scott, Heather, public participation, we're told, is absolutely key to what's happening here in this area. They want residents, business owners to participate contribute their insight, their insight into their daily lives, which could potentially help researchers trying to pinpoint the risk factors contributing to these increase in cancer cases. Now, the public meeting, which is set to happen here at the Buffalo Museum uh, of Science, is set to begin at 6.30, and we're told this is just one of the many efforts that are going to be happening over the next six months to collect local data and then compare that to what the state already knows. Now, just for a bit of background, the preliminary examination of the state's cancer registry found elevated cases of cancer in four areas of the state. Of course, one of those being Buffalo's east side and a portion of western Cheektowaga. There were six types of cancer showing increases, oral, esophageal, lung, kidney, colorectal, and prostate cancers. Those elevations, they were 30 to 100% higher than the state averages. Now, while they're looking for resident and business input tonight, they will also be looking later in the coming days at data from local and state health, occupational, and environmental agencies. Well, we might have some preconceived notions based on our expertise about what might be influencing the cancer rates, and we really need uh, participation from collaborators at Roswell Park, at the Erie County Health Department, from other local community members to make sure that we get it right. They'll also be looking at the chance that elevated numbers could be tied to increased access to care and screening. So that's actually a good thing. The state plans to release their findings by the end of this year. So if you plan on turning out to the meeting again, it starts at 630, runs through 830. It is open to anyone who wants to attend. But if you can't make it, Absolutely no worries because two on your side will have a news team here and we will have a report on it later this evening. For now, I'm Emily Lomper reporting live from the Buffalo Museum of Science, Channel 2 News.